Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we are back in the gym and I will take you guys um, through a full lower body dumbbell only leg workout. Now, I usually um, create my workouts around machines and just all the usual equipment available in the gyms, but I'm also thinking about the people that train from home that don't really have the time to go to the gym every single day um, or that just maybe have a little bit of anxiety to go into the gym because I can understand if you're a total beginner, it's quite intimidating sometimes to, you know, make this first step into a gym. So yeah, I really wanted to dedicate this video and create a full leg day with dumbbells only and i also want to prove that just because you have minimal equipment doesn't mean that you cannot make a workout enjoyable or hard intense um effective because you'll be amazed what a set of dumbbells can do and that you can actually you know make progress with dumbbells as well you don't need a lot of equipment um you just need yourself you just need your motivation and you need to watch this video to know exactly how to train your lower body properly and effective to grow them legs so let's get into it and be ready <laughs> Now, I also want to say that today's workout consists of six exercises focused on glutes, hamstrings and quadriceps. Um, there are some supersets in there as well. Uh, a superset is actually a combination of two exercises with minimal to no rest in between. Um, but for the beginners, I would advise to not combine the exercises and just do like uh, every exercise separately because you know your body needs to adapt first before you can do supersets because it's actually a little bit more of an advanced technique um, but yeah so just so you know you can modify it a little bit according to your um, fitness level so we are starting with a heels elevated goblet squat a quad burner right away and we will be doing this four sets 10 repetitions and one more important thing with um, training with dumbbells and minimal equipment in general is you should pay even more um, focus to your execution of the exercise to really focus on the eccentric movement so this is also the lowering phase of the movement where it gets really hard and um, yeah time under tension and just overall uh, mind muscle connection is really really important especially with lower weights because um, I know that people who train from home usually don't have like five different um, sets of dumbbells, usually one set of, of weights only. So over time, your body will get used to the weight and it's important to even more focus on your range of motion, on your form and the execution of the exercise and really, really think about your mind when you're executing the uh, exercise, okay? Because time under tension can really make an exercise easy or very difficult, intense. Um, it's just the way how you execute it. So, but for today, we are going to make the workout, of course, not easy. Um, yeah. Okay, so for this exercise, you need um, a little platform. Usually, um, the easiest thing you can have is like a um, plate of around 15 kilos. Um, but if you don't have this at home, you can actually use like anything else. <laughs> which can give you like a little bit more of a yeah platform it doesn't need to be too high like around i would say around five to six centimeters that's more than enough and you basically go stand on it with your heels only so the plate is in the right in the middle of your foot as you can see then you're taking the dumbbell I will perform all the exercises with a 20 kg dumbbell because for me that's a good weight. Go up, raise your core, go all the way down with a four second eccentric movement, a brief pause at the bottom, explosive concentric phase. One, two, three. Four, bam, two.
was a good one to start this workout with. As you can see, only 20 kg, but intense because of the four second eccentric phase. Such a good one. All right, let's move on to the second exercise, which is a combination of both a front lunge and a reverse lunge. Moving on to the second exercise, which is gonna be a combination of both a front lunge and a reverse lunge. Cause a front lunge is when you step forward and this usually targets more the quadriceps. It also depends on how big uh, your step is. So the smaller your step, the more it will focus on the quadriceps. The reverse lunge on the other side, if you take a big step backwards, will tar target much more the gluteus and also the hamstrings. So with this symbol, lunge combination, you actually target the hamstrings, glutes and quads in one movement. So um, I will be doing this with 40 kilos in dumbbells. It's gonna be pretty intense because I'm used to do this with a barbell, honestly. Um, the workout says of four sets of 20 reps. I'm gonna give it a try. If it's too hard, I'm gonna modify it to 16 reps. So eight uh, steps front and back for each leg, okay? Let's go. One. take a little bit of rest and then switch to the other side oh my goodness <sighs> can confirm we have a leg pump already even with dumbbells We have come to the third exercise, but also the fourth exercise, because as I said in the beginning, I've implemented some supersets as well into this routine. So the next two exercises need to be performed after each other with little to no rest in between. Um, the first exercise is gonna be a dumbbell RDL. And the second exercise is gonna be a unilateral hip thrust. Um, yeah, with a dumbbell, of course. Um, but as I said, for the beginners, who are watching this video, you can do these exercises separately. So just start with the number RDL, perform the sets pre prescribed, and then move on to the unilateral hip thrust, okay? Um, for the RDLs, we will be doing four sets of 15 reps, the hip thrust, 
four sets of 10 reps each leg, okay? And then also with the time and the tension that I'm gonna show you. Um, let's get started. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Can I say I, I underestimated my own routine? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, no rest, no rest. Uh, so you wanna make sure to secure your upper back nice and stable on the bench. One. like a 20 seconds break before switching to the other leg because otherwise it can really impact your performance with the other leg and you don't want to have this because this can also cause imbalances um yeah right i forgot my hair tie and it's really oh frustrating to the final part of the routine with another super set um, we will be doing a unilateral stiff leg deadlift so there's a little small difference between a Romanian deadlift which we just did and a stiff leg deadlift so with the stiff leg deadlift as the name can tell you basically gonna keep your leg as stiff as possible so instead of let me put this here <laughs> yeah so instead of bending your knee and like really go like this you're gonna keep your leg as straight as possible but don't fully lock your knee you really want to avoid this so something like this and then go all the way down you will feel that this variation of a deadlift is way more targeting the hamstring or isolating the hamstring. We are gonna do this exercise, 10, si 10 reps per side, four sets, and then combine it with a curtsy lunge. But I'm gonna explain this in a bit, so let's go.
Where's my other dumbbell? Uh-huh, it's over there. Okay. Next up, we have the curtsy lunge. The curtsy lunge is also a variation uh, within the lunges, but it targets more the glutes muscles. So instead of a front or reverse lunge, you're basically gonna put one leg and crossing it over the other one, you see? Go down. You'll feel a massive stretch here in this area. And then really, when you come back up, you push through the heel of this leg, okay? So this is really the working leg. This is the assisting leg. So you wanna avoid and have a minimal help of this leg to get you back into the original position. We're gonna do this again, four sets, 20 reps. If it's too heavy, modify to 16 reps, which, I'm, which I am gonna do, by the way. Hey guys and this was the end of the dumbbell only leg workout yeah once again a reminder and an example that dumbbell workouts are not easy it's just you that make it easy maybe so give it a go and let me know in the comments how you experience the workout and yeah see you next time bye <laughs>
they have created here a thick waistband which is a little bit more tight around the waist area however it still feels super comfortable as you can see it's super stretchy material as well um, and it absolutely hugs your skin honestly it, it really feels like a second skin in my point of view then also you don't need to be scared to have a camel toe with this entire collection because they have really made sure that there are no stitches in the front so you can absolutely feel completely comfortable at the gym um, yeah the back side looks absolutely amazing I really love that it's completely open here around the back area it really helps to not only show the booty gains but also show the back gains and then as you can see here around the booty area they have made a uh, contour like right under your cheeks to like really lift them up or visually lift them up and then also the scrunch i mean both of these things really help to you know put the glutes in the spotlight the best they can um so yeah i'm totally here for it i really love it i also think they made the scrunch really nice it's not super visible in my point of view and yeah i don't know i'm just such a big fan I'm just a little bit sad it's still super gray and like miserable weather outside because I would be totally rocking these onesies every single day um, but for now it's a little too cold in Belgium <laughs> to wear this so as I said the collection comes in five different vintage colors but to give you a proper view I'm gonna switch and put on every single onesie in a different color and show around so you can have a better look on how it looks like on my skin you just have one thing to wear you don't need to pull your leggings or your shorts all the time up you don't need to be scared that your top will fall off everything stays in place and once again it's the most convenient thing you can wear in the gym I do get it it looks a little bit sexy but I mean why not we can wear it girls we can, we we can rock this piece and trust me you really need to stop with those limiting beliefs about yourself um you can wear whatever you want doesn't matter what anyone thinks of you if you feel comfortable in the in what you're wearing then it's fine <laughs> people will have opinions anyway and if i am the only one in the gym that's wearing something like this then this i'm gonna rock it and i'm gonna feel confident in it and i'm gonna you know feel good in it so the onesies were only the newest release in this new vintage seamless collection it's not it's only a part one part two is full length leggings a similar top and they have also um, created the same shorts for every color um, you guys as I said the fabric is just next level I don't think I own any legging which is as stretchable as these like literally look I'm gonna come a little bit more close up one thing I really love about these leggings is the waistband um, because as you can see it's a high waist it's a high waist legging but it's not super high waist because sometimes the, the waistband can come up to here which then you need to do like this to make it feel comfortable but I feel with this waistband it's definitely not necessary and the bonus these were the leggings and then for the sports bra one thing I really have noticed when I first wore these sports bras is that it's 
it's not the most supportive in my point of view as you can see it also is a very minimalistic design um it's a very small <laughs> sports bra and um yeah so this is definitely something that you have to keep in mind it doesn't give like the ultra high support and another thing is that it fits smaller than their other uh sports bras in my point of view i was kind of surprised uh because i am wearing a medium as as per usual and i was kind of surprised when i put it on for the first time like oh okay this is this is small this is tiny but you know i think on the other side if i would have gone for a size large it might have been too big for me because um the sports bra cannot be adjusted okay so as you can see the back side looks really flattering but unfortunately you cannot adjust it so i would say it's better to stick with your usual size and to size up because you know it's better that it's a little bit more tight and it's too loose because you cannot fix it okay um so i'm wearing a size medium in the top and this size medium in the leggings and in the shorts and also a size medium in the onesies as well um which is actually my usual size for reference okay All right guys, that was a little try on haul. Um, I hope it gave you a little bit more of an insight on what you can expect of this brand new collection. I think they really nailed it with their colors and just the fabrics in general, but I know seamless um, is always, you know, a very nice fabric to wear in the gym um, and also I mean in daily life I wear it all the time when I'm working behind my computer at home it's just so 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 comfortable no I'm not exaggerating or being dramatic when I tell you that you really need to get your hands on this collection because trust me it's gonna be the best fabric you have ever worn in your life and the most flattering as well so it's a bonus and a win-win situation over here okay if you want to check it out i will put a link in the description box of this video also i do have a discount code with tlf which is tlf sub which will always give you 15 percent off site-wide so if you decide to shop something then make sure to use the code because you can save yourself 15 percent off your order and you can do me a favor as well which I'm very thankful for. <laughs> um, anyway, I will end the video right here. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you do have any more questions regarding the collection, then please feel free to drop them down below in the um, comment section and I'm happy to help you out. Um, for now, I'm gonna prepare something to eat and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.